Alrighty, kindergartners. So today our letter is Y, and today Y is for yellow yarn. So for this project today, we are going to be using some yellow yarn to do our our project. So hopefully you guys listened to the story already about the extra yarn. Um, and today we're going to be using some extra yarn from the art room um, to be completing our project. So. I'm sticking with the yellow theme and I will be using my yellow marker to color my letter Y. Um, I just printed this Y off of Google Images, but um, I understand if you don't have printers at home, you can just draw one. Um, some of my kindergartners today just chose to just draw a big letter Y uh, and then color it in. And that works too. I understand um, I don't have a printer at my house either, so I understand if you don't. But I am just going to go ahead and color in my letter Y. You can have a grown-up draw a big letter Y for you. And you can color it in. All right. Then you're just going to take your scissors and cut it out. And it might curl a little if you use marker because markers are wet. Um, so mine is going to curl a little bit because I used a marker, um, but you can use a crayon, colored pencil, whatever you have at home is just fine. You don't have to have any fancy um, coloring stuff today. Just carefully cut it out. I'm gonna cut that last bit out and keep it in the camera here so you can see what I'm doing. Right then, we are going to get that single hole punch back out. So that same one that we used for X is for xylophone, or X is for, W is for watermelon. Uh, we use it for the watermelon seeds. Um, so I'm gonna use that single hole punch again. And I found that you can find them at the Dollar Tree for only a dollar, which is pretty cool. Um, so, but if you don't have a hole punch, that is fine. Um, you can also glue yarn to your letter Y. So then you wouldn't have to cut it out either. You could just draw your letter Y and then glue some yarn onto it if you have some scrap yarn laying around. If you don't have yarn, you can draw squiggle lines um, so that it looks like yarn. That's always fun to do as well. Um, so there's lots of ways to do this project. There isn't just one way. Um, this is just one way that I'm showing you. So you're gonna punch some holes and then you're gonna take some scrap yarn, if you have some, I just found this stuff at Goodwill um, because it's a great place to find affordable art supplies that people don't want anymore, but I do. In Love Inc., I find a lot of like big bags of yarn at Love Inc. too, so if you're in Nuevo, um, you should stop in at Love Inc. if you're looking for some cool art stuff. I don't really ever buy like yarn and things like that brand new because I find that people who knit and stuff are always giving away um, their scraps, so which we can use for lots of things here in the art room. So I'm just gonna use a piece of tape to hold my end of my string from coming undone. That way it doesn't unroll on me. And I'm just wrapping it around the outside. You don't have to do that. I just kinda like how it looks. You can make it so it's more like you're sewing, going up and down. Uh, that's always kind of fun to do as well. I did this lots of different ways. Um, so you guys can do it lots of different ways too. Like I said, if you don't have a hole punch um, or you don't have yarn, still do the project. There's still lots of ways that you guys can complete this project. Like I said, you can make squiggle lines to look like yarn, right? Um, so you could, you could punch holes using something else. Uh, yeah, you might have something else that's like a bamboo skewer or something you could poke holes with. There's lots of ways to complete these projects. You just gotta get creative sometimes. And if you have none of those things, um, I bet you could find your own thing that starts with the letter Y. You could draw a yo-yo, that'd be fun. All right, so I ran out of string, um, so I'll probably just grab another piece and keep going here. But I want to show you guys what it can look like when it's all finished. Then, if you have your art book, you can go ahead and glue it 
to your why is for yarn page. And then if you want to decorate around this, draw a little yarn ball or a little cat playing with the yarn. Um, that's always fun to do as well. You can, but that is pretty much it. So hopefully you guys had fun. I know my kindergartners today had a great time um, punching their holes and stringing their string in. It was kind of fun to act like we're sewing with paper, which is kind of a cool thing to do. And I will see you guys next week for our last letter. Can you believe it, guys? We are almost done with our entire ABC art book. That's crazy. If you missed any of the letters, go back on YouTube. Um, they're all on there. Every project is on my YouTube channel. And then um, we are still going to be doing projects even after we finish the alphabet. We'll be doing some other stuff. Um, so don't think that next week is the last week of art. It's not. We still have several more things to do. Um, but we're almost done with our art books, which is pretty cool. Alrighty, guys. I'll talk to you next week for Z.